Hello fellow captains, how are you doing? It's Captain Collins to another episode of X4. Today we're going to talk about trade filters and how you can use them very easy right on the point so that you can start with your trade filters. Quick introduction to myself, I'm Captain Collins. I'm a Twitch streamer and YouTube content creator. I stream from Monday to Thursday at 7 p.m. Central European time. And if you like these short on point videos about some specific things in games, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss them in the future. Thank you so much. So let's start talking about trade filters and therefore we jump into the cockpit of this beautiful ship. Let's go. From here on, press enter and go on your map. And the trade filters are in the filter settings in the right top corner. So the trade filter is a good way to start whenever you want to start trading or whenever you want to start mining. I will come to that point later. So the first thing you want to do is enable the trade filters and that you do with this small button here, which is red. And there you click on it and it's enabled. Normally everything is selected and we're going from here. What do the trade filters do? The trade filters at first show you for every single where you're chosen, uh, the best prices to get them and the best prices to sell them. And if there is enough of whatever you're searching for. So for example, you see here is a menu. It says 62 objects. There are 62 objects you can buy or sell. And it will also show you how much you can buy or can sell at a specific station. It will show you the station. There you see it points to this location. There are hull parts and this particular station is buying 7,600 hull parts for the price of 272 credits. So you can change how many of these trade offers will be shown by doing this menu, trade offer display, and you can decrease that to just one where or up to five. Just one point before we move on, these lists are limited to the amount you see on your map right now. So if you scroll out, then you get a list for every single system you see. And if we scroll in, for example, to the void, right into there, then you get just the information of the stations you see in the void, for example. Okay, a few more pieces there. You have two more options where you can search for stuff, and that is by minimum volume. You can say that it doesn't matter how much stuff there is. So if you're searching for anything just to buy it, you go with none. And there you can also like display it, uh, trade offers just with a minimum or a medium or a large volume. I just selected none. So that way I get all the best prices for selling and buying. Doesn't matter the amount of that where in this specific area. So that's like the most basic part. Now we're going in to the storage stuff here. You have three selections. You have container, solid and liquid. Container is everything you can buy and sell at stations. So solid is everything you can mine from a mineral regions. The other setting liquid is the gas region. And before we go deep into every single where, I will just show you what it will do for you if you for example, select solid and you can see that this region is buying or ice and nevidium. At this point, you know that when you're buying a drill or some other mineral miner, then you also have stations that will buy that stuff, which is essential if you just have a miner that can auto mine a single sector. So this way you're ensuring this station is buying 206 thousand or for a specific price you can ensure that you really have a high demand like i said it goes the same with liquid we don't have any liquid stuff but you see the other stuff around here somewhere okay but what we're really focusing on is container container is the stuff you can buy and sell at stations by add and remove wares you really need container selected because if you have solid as a storage type and then for example go for food rations you will not have solid food rations it doesn't work but keep in mind in this select wares are also stuff that is solid or liquid, for example, ice. So you won't see ice and container that just doesn't work because you don't have ice, which is in a container storage. See, there's the problem. You have to keep that in mind. But if you don't want to fickle with this stuff, then just keep everything selected. You don't have to think about picking the right one. So now, for example, if you want to make some manual trades and you really want to have the best prices for anything, then just take, for example, food rations. There you go. Um, zoom all the way out and then you get all the information from all stations there where you can buy food and where you can sell food really good. 
And there you see that you can buy food for 18 credits and sell food for 19 credits. That way you ensure that you don't want to trade with food rations at all because you just get one credit profit there. As you just saw, it dropped when I was talking. So now you don't do any profit at all. This way you can just search for whatever you like, for example, plasma conductors, and you can see the amount of profit and how much is bought in your complete sector. Okay, let's take something else. Like for example, I really like graphene as an example because you get good prices on it. There you go, graphene. And there you see that you can buy graphene for 80 credits and sell it for 233 which is really good profit. And then you know, okay, if I have a trader, I really want to set them at graphene and he will make profit. Or you can, like I said, uh, do it manually. You can also go with uh, picking a few pieces. I mean, we have five trade offers selected, so I can also pick like five offers and then I can see all of them at once. And then you can really screen really fast. Where can I buy the stuff? Where can I sell the stuff? So if you don't want to have that all the time open because it's also distracting you from other stuff, you want to clear that out from your map, then just click on that small button there and the trade filters are off. You can close the settings. And if your settings are not deleted and you just let them there, for example, here are the trade filters we have, the five wares we want to have, then you can access that filter in a very quick way, but just by pressing this small button right on top there and it will just show you the info that you saved. So that way you can also check after a few time if you have a good trade filter there running and you like the stuff that's enabled. For example, you're searching for solid wares because you just want to mine and let's for example do this. Let's remove all the wares. You just go on solid, that's it. That's the only thing that I want to have. Deselect that one, go into this region and I want to check, is there something? Okay, I can click on that. Ah, oh, trade filter, look at that. Go to the next one, open that trade filter. Ah, oh, look at that, Nvidia and ice. And that way you can really work with a trade filter. Let's jump back into space. A uh, trade filter is a really good thing to use. It's really quick and self-explaining after a time. You can work with that for the best profit you can get and also the best mining opportunities to get. Thank you very much for being here. I hope that helped. I hope that was not too much and not too long. And leave a subscription if you like that content so I can really ensure that this is the stuff you want to see in the future and we can do more stuff on X4, of course. I'm streaming that right now on Twitch. So come by, say hi, and we can discuss some other things if you like. See you there. It's Captain Collins. Bye-bye.